In this video, we're going to do an application problem involving parabolas. Let's look at the problem. A tractor company has found that the revenue in dollars from the sales of riding mowers is a function of the price p in dollars. If the revenue is given by this function, which we can tell is a quadratic function, then we want to determine the price that the company should charge to maximize revenue, and we also want to find the maximum revenue. So because we can tell that this is a quadratic function, we know a lot about what the graph of this function looks like. We know it's going to be a parabola. It also just so happens that when we look at this formula, if you plug in p equals 0, when p equals 0, not surprisingly, if we charge $0 for our riding mowers, our revenue is also going to be 0. We're not going to make any money if we don't actually charge money for our riding mowers. No surprise there. So that means that our function goes through the point 0, 0. No price, no revenue. And it's going to go up from there. Once we start charging money for our riding mowers, our revenue is going to go up. So here's my price axis, and here's my revenue axis. And since we also know that this is going to be a parabola, and we also know that since the a, the leading coefficient, is negative, that's my a right there, it's negative one-half, that means it's going to be an upside-down parabola. So we can basically get a sense of what the curve is going to look like. It's going to be an upside-down parabola that looks like that. And now maybe it makes more sense that they're asking us to figure out what price would maximize the revenue. We can tell that this point right here is going to be the biggest revenue we could ever get. And the way that we're going to get that revenue is by charging this mysterious price. If we can figure out what that price should be, we're going to figure out how to get the most money out of our riding mowers. And what you also might notice here is that that point is the point that we call the vertex. So all we have to do is find the vertex of this parabola and we'll basically be done. And the good news is that we know how to find the vertex of a parabola. The vertex is going to be at the point p equals negative b over 2a. And remember here, if that me writing p there seems a little strange, remember p is really our x variable here. It's our independent variable. We get to decide what our price should be. So p is playing the role of the x variable in this problem. Okay, so for our quadratic function here, we already know that a is negative 1 half. b is going to be 1900. And so if we just plug those into our formula for the vertex, we get negative 1900 divided by 2 times a, which is negative 1 half, and that works out to be positive 1900. So we've already answered one of our two questions. We know that the price that we should charge to maximize revenue is going to be $1900. That's going to be this price right here. But what that doesn't tell us is how much money that makes us. So that doesn't tell us what the revenue actually is. So when our price equals 1900, what's R? Well, we have a formula right back up here that tells us how to figure out R if we know what P is. And now we know what P should be. It should be 1900. So R is going to equal negative 1 half times 1900 squared plus 1900 times 1900. And when we throw that on our calculators and work that all out, it works out to be $1,805,000. So here are the two answers to our questions. Our questions were, what price should the company charge to maximize revenue? The answer to that question is $1,900. That's this answer right here. And we were also asked, to find the maximum revenue, and the answer to that question is $1,805,000.